Hi, this is Edgarian108 and you're watching a walkthrough of Infinity Blade. Infinity Blade is developed by Chair, which is owned by Epic Games. Let's talk basics. So the game starts like this. There's three characters. The Dark Knight. You and finally the God King. Alright, let's get down to business. I'm gonna teach you how to play this game. So in this tutorial you're gonna be told to block. So make sure you block by holding the, the shield button. Do it again. And again. Alright, so you got a block break. So when you get that, make sure you swipe your finger across the screen to be able to strike the enemy. Shortly after you strike the Dark Knight, he will disarm you, and all you can do from this point on is watch. Alright, so you finally get to see the Infinity Blade. This Infinity Blade is supposed to be able to kill immortals like the God King. You don't really need to get the Infinity Blade before you face the God King again, but you will need it if you want to cover some secrets of this game. For some time now, you just happen to have a son, and this son, 20 years when he's old enough to fight, he's gonna come back to avenge his father. And so the story continues with the grandson and the great grandson and so far and so forth. For that, to calculate that, there's a thing called bloodline. So where it says start bloodline, you'll have start bloodline 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30, depending on how many times you fight the God King. Any item you see laying around, make sure you tap where it is and get it. Alright, the next thing I'm gonna teach you is how to dodge. I mark the dodging buttons with arrows. What's important about dodging is that you cannot always rely on your shield. Shield has points. If you overuse it, it'll break. Again, if you have that break, make sure you strike. Never strike before or after that. Alright, so as you can see, the shield says 10. He gets knocked down to 0. It'll break. He just got knocked down, one point down. So evasion is really important. Make sure you time your evasion really well, or that will happen to you. Stop your finger with this combination, and you'll create double damage, triple damage, and so forth. You get a bonus experience after the PD enemy for every strike you So every time you defeat an enemy, you get some money, you get some experience. That experience gets distributed among your weapons, 
such as the sword, the shield, the ring, the helmet, and the armor. The higher the level, the more likely you will be able to fight the God King. There's a health potion, go ahead and get it. Alright, so we finally got into the one I actually wanted to teach you. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to parry with your sword. had to parry it's actually really easy to do on your own the only thing you need to do is strike against the sword of the enemy parrying is the easiest way to knock down your opponent so make sure you learn how to do that. You don't need it against the cat. Once again, you defeat an enemy, you gain money, sometimes you can get weapons, you definitely gonna always get experience. That experience will be distributed among your weapons, and that's how you level up. And if you ever reach the limit of your weapon, then you, all you have to do is buy a new one. Once you level up, or master a weapon, you will get 2 or 1 skill point respectively. And, what's, and the advantage of that is that you can increase your health points, your attack points, your shield points, or your mag points. Making all of those attributes more powerful. There's two ways into the castle where the God King is. The first way is through the front door. Which is with more enemies, but you level up a lot more. Then there's the well. That's shorter to get to the God King a lot faster, but uh, you don't level up as much. Since my priority is to level up as much as possible, I'll take the door. But you can choose whichever you prefer. Again, make sure to look around, make sure to get all the money you can find. You'll need it to buy new weapons. Make sure you do not attack that feral troll just yet. Instead, what you're gonna go is go right and to this door and fight the enemy that's inside before you go back to where the feral troll is. You can come to this door anytime you want to get some money to, to fight an enemy get some experience and money as well and then to get these treasure chests that might have money or maybe a hidden weapon. So, not coming here means that you're gonna miss out on a lot on the way. The blue circle with the sword on it creates an automatic break, giving you a big window to attack like crazy. If you damage the enemy or get damaged, your blue circle will start filling up. Just 
skip the details of the score by clicking on the screen. Alright, so you finally master uh, an item. Once you do that, make sure to buy a new item of the same type. In this case, it was your helmet, so make sure to buy a new helmet. And you can buy a new helmet by going into the store and just picking whichever you prefer and just buy it. You can add level up if you keep master weapons. Your character will automatically get the treasure chest once you defeat the enemy. Alright, so we got the treasure chest. Now we can go back to the Feral Troll. Feral Troll may be big and may look intimidating, but you can fight him basically the same way you can fight a knight. So you can block, you can parry, you can dodge, you can do all those things with him. Oh yeah, and as an added bonus, this time you will be able to use my to use magic, the first thing you're gonna see is on the right a blue circle with the magic symbol. And what you do is you swipe the screen with a picture of whichever magic you have available. Enemies that are weak against a certain element will basically die with a single strike of magic. And if not, you'll at least take away like half of the health one single strike. Alright, so from this point on there's only battles and there's no tutorials, so the, in the next video I will show you how to get to the God King if you want to see it. This game is available for the iPod Touch 3G, the iPod Touch 4G, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the iPad, and the iPad 2. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon for my next video. Bye!